the purpose of this video is to show you that you can now share and embed your Google Classroom calendars with parents. Recently, Google released another feature for Classroom that many teachers have been requesting. Now, Google Calendar integration with Google Classroom is easy to use and manage. I'm going to show you how to make your Google Classroom calendar public so that you could email it to parents or embed it into a website or blog. This answers the, but parents can't access Classroom dilemma. Parents who are outside of the Google Apps for Education domain are able to view these calendars and see every classroom assignment that's due. Teachers can also manually add events like field trips, guest speakers, assemblies, or anything else to specific classroom calendars so that parents can view not only assignments, but all classroom events. Here's how it happens. For this demo, we'll use this training classroom. There's two ways to view the classroom calendar. One way is to click on the menu up top and switch to the calendar view. And in this view, you'll see week by week. You can change the week up here. You can specify if you want to show other classrooms or just one classroom. You can click on this calendar up here and it will return you to today. If I go back to my classroom view, the second way that you can view your calendar through Google Classroom is to click on About, and then you can click on View in Classroom. That will open up that same calendar that we just looked at, and you can scroll through by week. If you click into your regular Google Calendar, you can turn on and off other calendars by selecting the calendars on the left-hand menu. Right now I'm looking at just a couple classroom calendars. If you click on the classroom menu pull-down tab, there's a couple settings that I want to point out. If you click share this calendar, you can check this button here to say that it is going to be a public calendar. That will allow parents to be able to view the classroom assignments or other events that are posted on your calendar. So I'm gonna hit save here. And also if you pull that tab down, you can get to calendar settings. By clicking this, there's a calendar address. And if I click on the HTML button here, here is a clickable link. So if I go to this link, here is just this calendar. I could copy this link right here. I could send it to parents in an email or I can embed this calendar into a Google site or a class blog. To do that, I can take the embed code that's here and I could paste it into a website that I have, or I can bring that calendar in through one of the widget options. Many grades and team levels have Google site pages, so I'll demonstrate how you can do that with this Google site. If I want to enter a calendar onto this page, I'm going to say edit this page. I'm going to select where I want the calendar to go by putting the cursor in the place where the calendar is going to insert. I'll go to insert. I'll select calendar. And now I'm going to get a list of all of the calendars that I have. So I'm going to find that sample and I'm going to select it. There's some settings here to determine what the calendar appearance will look like. If you wanted to display another calendar, like another content area you can click in here and you can add another calendar so you might have be adding other calendars like your math department page or your english calendar and so on so you can add as many of your calendars as you need to you can choose the size of the calendar if you want to have a title on it and then you can say save you'll see that there's a space for the calendar here you can do some basic editing in here and then when you hit save that calendar will appear right here with the calendars that we added up. If I were to add an event here, like maybe on Thursday the 25th, I'm gonna say that we have a guest speaker in English class. And then I'm gonna make sure that I select the calendar that this is, is the Google training calendar select a color if that's important to you, and then hit save. It's added it into my Google Calendar here. If I refresh the page, I just want to show you how that guest speaker for English class shows up here too. So they are fully integrated. Hopefully this improves access to information for your class calendar and helps the homeschool connection.